BF Goodrich KO2s are the tires I feel like you can recognize from a mile away. They've got such a unique tread pattern and they're known for being a fantastic all-terrain tire. I myself have been really fascinated with a BF Goodrich as a whole because of their large presence in off-road racing. So when I bought my truck two years ago, one of the things I was most excited about having on my truck were KO2s because I was looking for an awesome hybrid off-road and on-road tire. Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. It has taken me two years to make this video and that is my thoughts and my review of KO2 tires. It's a question I get asked probably most about on the channel, so I'm really excited to cover this topic today. Now the reason it's taken me so long to make this video is because it takes a lot of time to finally get a sense of how your tires feel. It takes a lot of driving in both on-road and off-road conditions to really understand how your tires perform. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about some of the pros and cons of having KO2 tires, and I'm gonna talk about why I think the design of them makes them a fantastic all-terrain tire. So before we get into all about the KO2s and everything, I wanted to make sure I let you guys know about a huge truck giveaway that's happening right now. I've talked about them on this channel before, but Rona Factory, which is a company located here in San Diego, does these huge truck plus cash giveaways, and for this giveaway, they're giving away a custom built-up Ford Raptor plus cash. And I say this every time because I know there's a lot of Toyota loyalists out there that watch my channel. Yes, it's a Ford, but this custom Raptor that they built up is such an off-road beast. And who doesn't love cash? So, how do you enter? Well, you can check the link in the description down below to browse Ronin Factory's website for everything from car accessories to outdoor gear to dog stuff to even coffee, which by the way, their coffee is awesome. Basically with any purchase that you make on their website up to the end of the giveaway, you will gain entries to win the Raptor plus cash. And as a thanks for checking out this video today, I have a discount code you can use for 10% off of your order. Just type in Chloe10 at checkout and it will automatically be applied. And the awesomeness doesn't stop there because for every giveaway, Ronin Factory partners with an amazing nonprofit organization. And for this giveaway, they partnered with Freedom Service Dogs of America. So basically a portion of your purchase will not only get you entries, but it will also go directly to Freedom Service Dogs of America, which is an amazing organization that provides life-changing assistance to people in need through service dogs. I am so stoked for this giveaway. I've been following it really, really closely on Instagram, and I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you so much to Ronan Factory. They are huge supporters of this channel, and it means so, so much to me. Now, my personal goal is to see one of you guys, one of my viewers or subscribers, actually win the truck and cash. So if you're interested in entering, again, be sure to check the link in the description down below. It'll take you to Ronin Factory's website where you can see the truck you could win and past winners. That could be one of you guys. Now let's go talk about my KO2s. Now I think it would only be fair to make sure you guys knew about my tire configuration and setup and what conditions I put my truck under before I give a review because some of you guys might have the exact same tire but might have a different setup or vehicle or different conditions that you drive your vehicle under. So you may have a completely different experience than what I have. My vehicle is a 2019 Tacoma TRD Off-Road. My tire size of my KO2s are 26570 R17. They are load range C. I have about 31,000 miles on them. And for my tire pressure on-road, I normally run them at around 34 to 35 PSI. And off-road, depending on the conditions and the speed I'm going at, somewhere between 18 and 20, typically. The reason I mentioned tire pressure is because you can get so much variation just on that factor alone in terms of feeling, sound, and even gas mileage. But I'll get more into that in a little bit. So now that you know my setup, let's take a closer look at these. The tread pattern on this KO2 that I've been talking about and saying is so distinct is actually really, really similar to this tire's predecessor, the BF Goodrich KO. 
They made a lot of improvements in this KO2 over the KO, but they've definitely kept some of their engineering and technology as well as styling in the KO2. So I actually have a pair of calipers here, so now we can measure the tread depth of 30,000 miles on these tires. And if you can see, I measured about 0.31 inches of tread depth left. So doing some quick calculations, that's about 10, 30 seconds of an inch of tread left after 30,000 miles on my particular tires. And I believe they start out at 15, 30 seconds of an inch. I think what I'm gonna do is change these when they're about four or five, 30 seconds of an inch of tread left. So I've used up about half their life. And honestly, that's pretty good for 30,000 miles because I think they're only advertised to go up to 50,000 miles. The shoulder and sidewall of this tire is very aggressive and it actually extends out which is for the purpose of giving you more traction on softer surfaces like mud and also this pattern just helps to prevent punctures. If we go back to the tread and you look closely you might be able to see some of this 3D siping. This is going to be helpful for mud, snow, and ice because it gives you even more traction. So just as a really short visual inspection of some of the design elements that BF Goodrich has put in their KO2 tire, you can already understand kind of what it's capable of and why it's designed the way it is. So now that you know more about my setup, what my KO2s look like, and know a little bit more about their design, I'm gonna talk about what I think about the KO2's performance on road, which is where my truck spends a majority of its time. For normal everyday driving, I really, really like them, especially over the stock Goodyear Wrangler tires, which is what my TRD off-road came in, in most cases. I kind of think the stock tires feel very floaty. They're very smooth. They're very car-like, if you will. Whereas the KO2s make the truck feel more like a truck. They are definitely not as smooth as the stock tires, but I kind of like getting that feeling of the road. One of the things that people will say after stepping in my Tacoma over a stock Tacoma is that they definitely make some noise. Now, it's not so, so much noise on the road where you can't have a normal conversation without screaming, but it's definitely there. hum you can feel in the cab and I do find myself especially when I get on the highway and that hum becomes a little bit more loud turning up my music slightly I did talk about tire pressure earlier and that's because with this tire and really any tire depending on what air pressure you run on or off-road you're gonna get such a different feeling so for my setup and with these particular tires if I run them at around 30 to 31 psi while I'm on the road, it's a pretty comfortable ride because you're running at the lower end of tire pressures. However, when you do that, your contact patch is going to become wider. So you're making more contact with the road, you're getting more friction, which is gonna lower your gas mileage and create more sound in the cab. And then the exact opposite happens the second you put slightly more air in your tires. So when I run them at 35 to maybe 37 or so, you do definitely realize an increase in MPG. And I'm talking like, maybe two or three miles per gallon more, but then your ride quality starts to become a lot stiffer. So on the road, I think there's four different conditions that I put these KO2s through over the last two years. So first off is a condition that I encounter most of the time and that's dry pavement. And honestly, I really have nothing bad to say about how these perform on dry pavement. Again, the handling is good. It's maybe not the smoothest, but it's a decently smooth ride. And the noise is there, but it's not too loud. However, wet pavement from rain is actually where I start to find a couple of flaws with this tire. So when it rains, I find that water really can't funnel through well with this tire, so I don't get as much traction as I would like, and I think that actually has to do with the tread pattern. As you can see, uh, the way these tread blocks are, there aren't grooves that go completely around the circumference of this tire like your normal street tires have. And that's what helps water escape out of the tread. So when I'm driving my truck in the rain, I can kind of expect for traction control to turn on or kick in whenever I'm making a sharp turn or maybe a turn too quickly because I do get a little bit more slickness. So I wish there was a little bit more traction with this tire under those conditions, 
But the good thing for me is that it doesn't really rain that often in Southern California, so I don't have to deal with that as much. I think where the tread pattern lacks in one area though, it shines in another. Heavy snow is something that I dealt with when I lived in upstate New York in the winter of course, and I did notice that on a lot of days where the conditions were really bad and I still needed to go to work, my truck would do just fine in the snow. I would see a lot of cars stuck or not driving that day, but mine was just fine and I think the KO2s were actually the thing for that. So something I found interesting and something I definitely wanted to mention in this video is that I've talked to some people that have KO2s on the exact same truck that I have, the Tacoma, and they actually really don't like the way the KO2s perform in the snow, and the reasoning is that too much snow packs in the tread of their tires and they lose traction. But I actually experienced the exact opposite. I feel like I have great traction in the snow with these tires. Now don't get me wrong, the snow definitely still does pack up in the tread of these tires when I'm driving in it, but I actually think that's a more helpful thing because it creates more friction with the snow on the ground. So I theorize that the snow packed in the tires are designed to create more friction with the snow on the ground, which again gives you more traction. That's just my experience. I really have nothing bad to say in the snow. They are fantastic in my opinion, but I have heard a variety of different opinions with KO2s in the snow. Anyways, the last pavement condition I have tested these KO2s on comes right after the snow. It's ice. I hate driving when it's icy out because to some degree, no matter what tire you run, you really don't have control when you hit that patch of black ice. I will say though, on the couple occasions that that's happened, I feel like I've had good control. Again, there's not really much you can do on ice, but I think these KO2s definitely help more than hurt. So to summarize some pros and cons for what I think about these KO2s, on road, I think they have pretty good handling, decent ride quality, and great traction on dry pavement, snow, and ice. But where these tires lack is really in the rain because you get less traction. Now I feel like besides the fact that these tires look great, a big reason that people will get them is because of their off-road capability and versatility. Many of you guys who are familiar with me and my channel know that I do take my truck off-road frequently, and everyone knows that tires are a really big component of going off-road. Overall, I love these tires for the trails, especially over the stock ones, because of the control you get when you're out there. And obviously having control and really understanding the situation you're in while you're off-roading is really important. I do realize that this can be attributed to my tires being slightly larger than the stock tires and the fact that they air down, which gives me more surface area when I'm crawling over things. But still, crawling up hills feels easy and going down them feels more effortless in my truck. On top of that, because of the rubber compound, I have never had issues with these tires getting punctured. Now, granted, I've never done some extreme rock crawling and I typically don't go over fallen trees and stuff with these tires, but it's definitely a tougher tire than a lot of them out there and it's less likely to puncture definitely over stock tires. Since I live in Southern California, I find myself off-roading in the desert a lot. And with the desert comes a lot of sand and a lot of washboard roads. And let me tell you, these tires are so amazing in sand. The wider contact patch not only helps with moving in the sand, but it also makes sure you don't fall in it. They have great traction and it just feels so natural and so easy. And that's great because getting stuck in the sand is not fun. On tougher surfaces with a lot of ruts and holes, I find that I don't get as much slipping with my KO2s. This could be because of the increase in traction, but also the construction of these allows them to flex and conform more over objects or whatever surface I'm going over. So rock crawling and getting in through those ruts is a lot easier with my KO2s. Something that I also like with my particular KO2s is that they're not that heavy. They're pretty light, which obviously gives it a lot of performance advantages, but on the trails, I like that I have the ability to change my tire myself because I can actually lift them. So with my tire size and load rating, it specifically weighs about 45 pounds. And then my wheels specifically, which are the TRD Pro 4Runner wheels, are about 25 to 30 pounds. So overall, if I were to have to change a tire, on the trails, it's only 75 pounds, which is manageable for me. And hopefully I don't get any kickback for saying this, but guys, if I can change a 75 pound tire, which I've done in my garage and in multiple videos, you can too. So my final thoughts are the KO2s are a really awesome tire. And while I realize they can't be 100% perfect in every single aspect, they're a pretty dang good tire. 
Now I realize there's a lots of different all-terrain tires you can get for your trucks out there and while these are the only tires or all-terrain tires I've ever tested out on my truck, I can't say that they're the best of the best out there because I just don't know. But they're good enough for me and they definitely fit my bill so they're the tire that I'm going to end up going with when it's time to change my tire. Actually, unless a KO3 came out because I probably put a set of those on my truck to see what improvements they made over the KO2 because I could only imagine that they'd be better. With my experience so far though, I do love VF Goodridge so much that I'm going to get a set of these exact tires for my Land Cruiser, maybe in a larger size though, or maybe a set of BF Goodrich KM3s, which is their mud terrain tire, because that vehicle is definitely gonna see more off-road than on-road. If you have a set of KO2s on your vehicle, be sure to leave a comment down below. I'd be really curious to know what you guys think about them, and you could definitely help out other people by leaving your review. If you guys want to get more content from me besides from YouTube, I do also have an Instagram where I post more in real time. It is Chloe Kuo Taco. Be sure to check out the link in the description down below for a chance to win that Raptor plus cash and also support an amazing cause, Freedom Service Dogs of America. But other than that, I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.